all right what is up guys my name is creator welcome back to another gameplay of hogwarts legacy and this will be the part 18 so i'm excited to be recording again well due to the new update it caused a lot of crash uh so i look up at steam and someone mentioned that just by turning off the hardware acceleration and it works out fine well thanks to that guy <laughs> so sit back and enjoy the gameplay that i'm about to show you guys but before we begin previously on hogwarts legacy hey man did you speak with my uncle yeah it's not looking good bro i wish i had better news about your uncle and Anne. well what did he say i'm afraid he wants you nowhere near feldcroft nor am. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. <laughs> as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous in the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. Rather unwise coming back this way. Why don't you come up here and fight this? Do you have to You are the inevitable. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? So, in part 17, we have to tell Sebastian the bad news. His uncle told us that he forbids Sebastian from ever coming to Feldcroft or visit his sister. That's a bit too harsh. Well, Compared to what he did to that goblin, nah, to me, what the uncle did was way too harsh. Well, he, due to his action, he used the imperial curse on that goblin and basically just... Just slit his throat, I mean, <laughs> that's way too dark for a young kid to do. As we all know, using the unforgivable curse in this world is a big no-no. So, yeah, but to me, forbid him from visiting his sister, it's way too harsh. Next, we met with Poppy. So Poppy wants us to return the egg to the Mama Dragon. But you know me, I wanted to keep that egg. You know, to raise that young dragon. Fighting alongside up with us or right on, I don't know, his or her back. That would be great though. A dragon, that's badass. But you know Poppy, once she set her mind to it, there's no way we can stop her. And I underestimated her. She knows how to drag a dragon. I don't know where she learned that skill, but to me, her deduction skill is way too high for a young kid. And finally, we met with Sebastian again. Because I wanted to progress more on the story, we have to meet with him. Due to his incredible memory, he basically deduced where the next location is by simply looking at the picture at the triptych. And finally, we uh, he led us in to a cave which was created by Isadora. I guess she created that place. Well, there's a bunch of stuff there. And that is all for the recap of part 17. So for today, let's head forth to the haunted Hogsmeade. Alright, haunted Hogsmeade, here we come. Hello, pardon me. Hi, Penny. Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello, I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically 
anything. What? Okay, sure. Uh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop? And you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> okay, now what's happening? Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Um, d d d d d yeah. Can you tell me more about this? About your skills? How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill. But Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason was a wonderful master. All right, cool. <laughs> all right. I shall go and find Madame Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. All right, bye, Penny. I'll see you soon. I don't know what's going on in my head, but to me, this looks like Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Red suit, white hair. All I need is a sword. And that is it for the demons here. Okay, onwards to Cassandra Mason. Apparently, she's selling her place. Where is she? Cassandra Mason. Hey, ma'am. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Oh, yeah. I might be. I am indeed. I am. Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume what? she told you you should come through the place. <laughs> what? She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to Shop. be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Oh, I don't... Yeah, what would you assume then? <laughs> what the frick? Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. 
the benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shot ready for business and ensuring its success. Oh, that wasn't a question. What? It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. But how much are you selling? Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay. Yeah, it's just 1,500. Okay, sure. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Give me the money? Huh. Something's wrong here, man. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organised, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavours. Penny will meet you there. Thank God, I'm a kind person, madam. Thank God. Oh, let me see this. What's this? Oh, uh, forgot to mention that was uh, yesterday that I was trying to get the game up and running. In order to test it out, I've been wandering a lot in Hogwarts. It's cool. So I've been uh, breaking up blocks, finding pages. But we got a bunch of stuff. So I have sold most of my items. And as you can see, I got a bunch of money by doing it. So for now, let's focus on this. Haunted Hogs meat. Oh, damn it. Hey, Penny. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Okay, sure. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. All right, let's go. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This place is a mess. Ugh. Okay, repair with this. Um, let's see. Repair. Repair. Okay, wrong spell. Repair. Wrong spell. My bad. Nothing like a bit of hard work. You like that? You like oh, Penny? Mistress Mason wanted oh. Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh yes, she mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> huh? What do you mean? Are you holding your breath again? Get back to work now. And you guys are fishy. It's just a chest, so I just chill. Okay, whoa, oh, oh my goodness, it's too cram in here. Thank god I do not have claustrophobia. Right, let's open this. This is a big ass chest. Oh, this is not a mere chest. It leads to the basement. Holy crap. What kind of chest is this? Right. 
Okay, this is not good. Oh, this place looks old. Old indeed. Let's begin with this. Okay, let's get the item. Let's go. Okay, uh, what is this? Damn it. Mannequins, eh? That's all. I hate this. Why would someone store one hat in here? All right. Well, that's not very hospitable. No. Oh, goody! Someone to play with. You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be. For me. At least. Fastidio. Your name is Fastidio? Oh god. I hate mannequins. Alright. Lumos. Alright, where should we go? Oh, there's a door here. Onwards, I suppose. Okay, let's go. Oh shh. What? Who's there? Oh god, more mannequins. Oh damn it. Oh. Arrest the momentum. Defend us. Nice. Damn, my spells. Bombarda. Good bring up. Wow. Where should we go? Up, maybe? How? Oh. Not here though. Okay, now what's happening? There's too many... Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. This door, maybe? I guess. But, lovely. Why do I have repair? Yep, now that's the good one. Alright, okay, this is the door, obviously, Crater. Uh, what should we do? Hmm. What is this? Seems as if I should hang something there. Hang? Oh, maybe... Oh, maybe that one? Ha, huh, nicer. No puzzle I can stop me now. How enlightening! Mm, you might survive a bit longer than the other. Wait, what do you mean? What? Oh god. Lumos. Right, we go here. Oh, okay. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. Oh God. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please do you try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. Are you both the guys? Like beefs? Unfortunately oh. for you, both sides here are to my story. And you'll have to confuse both to get to the end. Okay, that was dumb. That was dumb of me. Uh maybe go here. Okay. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive. Incendio! Confringo! I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Obviously, boy. Wow, this spell look vibrant right now. Crimson top hat. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh.
Just please don't move. Get away from me. Whoosh. What the f What? Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Akio. When Guardian doesn't Leviosa. worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me. Shut up. It should. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. But don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in the store. Akio. From Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> Damn it. Right there. Maybe I missed out something. Alright, let me see. Yep. I do missed out something. Alright. Oh, it's a chest. Okay. Napoli Napolitan stripe scarf. Oh sh <sighs> Okay, um, maybe we should get that lantern. Oh, sorry. Get this one. Nice. <laughs> I like the colors on the spells, though. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Alright. Okay. Put it. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Yep, I was right. I was right. Brilliant. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well okay. done. Hey, hang on. Let me get this. Wow. Oh. Now we need luck on our side. <laughs> Let me get Maxima. Wait, 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 not like this, not like this. Ah, is there more of it? Come on. Is that it? So vibrant. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Did I got it? Oh sh Quack, Lumos. Let's get it. Uh. Incendio. Okay. Okay. Don't move. Right, don't freaking move. Oh god, mannequin, mannequin man, just get a shit out of me. <laughs> okay, onwards. Stop throwing furniture. Yeah. Nothing happened. Ah. Oh. You're trying to be scary, but it's not working. It's clearly not working. Whoa. Chess? What's this? A game within a game? Ooh. Ooh. Knight to H3. Oh, 
Okay. Nighty night. <laughs> okay, wrong tile. That was the wrong square. Uh, go here. What? Oops. I wonder if the chess pieces on the board indicate where I can't. I was hoping you'd fall for me, but this is a perhaps I can match. find a way to reveal the path. Oh, okay, I see it. Ooh. Uh, that's not good. Revelio. I want to squash. <laughs> Oh goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. What? No. I am not some things that you can keep. All right. My name is Creative Spectre, and I demand respects from you. Oh, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. You remind me of peeves. Snitch. Okay, uh huh. Easy. Oh. Huh. Alright. Open sesame. Let's be ready, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We good well. Any more? Right. We got our liquid luck and maybe this focus potion. Ready Time to raise the stakes. Where, oh, where shall I the stakes? Okay, 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 mannequin. It's mannequin crew. Well, this has been fun. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. Just bitch slap me. Did you? Oh my goodness, this thing. Yeah, that's one, so we need another one. Okay, got it. Alright. Oh god, this mannequin sucks. Alright, why am I surprised? You need more than you've learned from books to best me. Okay, no, 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 no. I saw many keys. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh, yeah, we need to go that way. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where is it? Like this, man. Lumos. Oh, okay. Please, no more mannequin. Ugh. Iron Maiden. Oh, deja vu. What? Okay. No, please, no. Okay, that's definitely not the door. Lumos. What's this? Alright. Oh, damn it. Hey. What is so? Oh. 
Oh, damn. Wait. Are we going in a circle? Hmm. Oh, damn it. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Okay. Oh. Oh goodness. Confringo. Levioso. Lumos. <laughs> what was that? Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. What the f Get away from me. Lumos. Especially that thing. Lumos. Okay, we got one more door. What's this supposed to be? Oh goodness. Jack in the box, maybe Jack in the box? Oh, how nice of him to pop in. Okay, come on. I knew it. Uh. Oh, this so oh shit. Oh no 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 f mannequin man f mannequin It's way too dark Ah you Bombarder Any more Oh goodness mannequin No Get away from me Okay, there's one more here. Right, no. That's enough. Lumos. I gotta go. Home sweet toe. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Gotta watch my back. Alright, come here, come here. Okay, that's one. Revelio. What's the next one? Oh goodness me. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the one. No. Oh god. Oh okay. No no no. Man, I ain't no bitch, man. I ain't no bitch. You wanna fight? It's always good to have a different perspective on things. What? Okay. Let's begin. What? Ah. What? Oh no. This room is trippy as hell. What? I did go there. Oh, I, I should, <laughs> Maybe we should just go straight through the door. 
Let me create it. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Is this supposed to be Gryffindor? Okay, I accidentally pressed that. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I can't jump, I can't... Oh no. Am I gonna be stuck here? That's definitely not it. Oh, there you go. Door's open. Should I go? Come on. Come on. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. You trying to be funny? Oh, she did say something is here. Where is it? There you go. Nice. Um. Wait. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, are we supposed to fight here? Akio. Guardian Leviosa. What? Oh, there you go. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. It's um... Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Getting to the end. Nice. All books and no play make one quite dull. Look, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna kick your ass. You, you hear me? Uh, fastidio? Fastidio? Alright. For the next battle, I guess. Wait. Yep. Whenever you see a wigan well. Don't forget to take it, cause up ahead, it's gonna be a battle. Alright Fastidio, come on. Okay, wow, wow. Okay, that's... That's cheating, man. Okay, this is catastrophic. Son of a I'll give you a moment to collect yourself, if you can. Ta-ta for now! Give me a bitch slap. Okay. Are we done? Madam Cassandra, you got something to answer for. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna find you. Revelio. Okay, it's on top here. Cassandra Mason. Why the hell do you have this kind of shop? Oh my goodness me. is under your shop
Aha! Finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! So you mean I need to kick your ass? Wait, what does it show enemies right there? Cat is cat, cat, but cat is cat. Is, I mean. Uh huh. Right, I need Maxima. Yeah, Maxima is no. Yeah, Maxima. Hey, big boy. Is this a golem? Yeah, it is. Oh god. Ah. No, 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 no. A studio? That was easy, man. Is that it? Uh, me and my dumbass mouth. Oh god. Whoa. No, 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 no! That's the wrong spot. Let me drink this. Get this. Oh yeah. Ready, boys? Why does he sound like an elephant? Oh goodness me. You having fun? Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What no. Ah, oh God, this is irritating, man. How am I supposed to find him? No. Oh, goodness. No. Wait, 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 wait. Good friend, go. Alright, you're done, you're done, you're done. Oh, 
nice. Well, well, finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. You leave this alone? I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. That's good. Yeah, what are the terms? Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. One doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. You see, it's like a kid throwing tantrum. Dumbass. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would pleasure doing business with you. All right. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I had a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. All right, bye bye. I had enough of this. Oh, goodness me. Adam, Cassandra, you got something to answer for. And you, Penny. You. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny, he's so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. I am. Yeah, I shouldn't have lied to me. You should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go and find Officer Singer. Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. This is Singer. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Officer Singer. <laughs> My bad. Officer, I'd like to report a crime. Nah, it's actually not a crime. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop? Yes, ma'am. Well, no. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop, but more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? <laughs> no, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Yes, please. I need my money back. Wait, can we still keep the shop? Cassandra Mason, you are under arrest. Nah, I'm just kidding. You are hit. Oh, 
hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! Okay, that is it. Stop her. Yes, ma'am. With I should have pleasure. That it? Okay, okay. Well, please. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Right, okay, I see, I see. One, two. There you go. Ma'am, do you know that I've been fighting with poachers, night? I've made a name for myself. You know who am I? I'm Queen Inspector. There you go, man. Ever should have messed with me. You done yet? I should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's. <laughs> ah. Ma'am, you should have done better. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Check on that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little trait to myself! I should have known it when she- Silencio. Nice, Officer Singer. <laughs> oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, okay. Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Yeah, but who's that behind you? Protego! Oh. Bombarda! Confringo! No. My spells look wonderful. <laughs> when it's in the hunted dungeon. The dungeon. What oh, the hell? But oh, no, it looks. Aww. Alright, fine, Penny. It's not your fault to begin with. To have such a terrible master. I should be good to you for now. Please stop lying to me. I hate it. Penny? Wow. Such a carefree creature, are huh, you? Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. No, I need you. Yeah. I look forward to working with you. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. A sign? This is it. Vesta and Venom. Vesta and Venom. Cladwell and Brewster. Wait, what? Nah, this... Look, nah, this Brewster. Looks like I a drink. choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. 
We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> Hey, cool. Uh, Penny? Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, Penny, I'll be back soon, then I'll give you all of this thing. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Shopkeeper assemble, alright, cool. Wow. Uh, can I look? That well and Brewster. Nice. Now I got my own shop. Uh, Penny. Can I change my mind? Change this shop. All right. Cool. 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 And that is it for the haunted hogsmeade. Ah, hate mannequin at all. Nah, I don't like mannequin. Alright, that is it guys for today. So thank you so much for watching. Do leave a like and subscribe. If you do, it will help me tremendously. So yeah, thank you and have a good one. See ya.